Hey, welcome back factory owners. I finally managed to install our wall box over here, but the cord is still dangling around over this box as you can see. So we need some kind of holder for the wall to mount it. We already got a plug and holder over here that we use to charge our Nissan Leaf. Let's see if there are some designs already available so I don't have to design it myself this time. So let's see what thing it was has for us. This one sticks too much out, this one also. Hey, this one looks perfect. That should do. The only thing is, how should you print a design like this? But maybe we have a solution for that. So I imported it into the slicer, but you can see it's not very good oriented for printing. But if I put it on the flat side, you can see that there would be weak layer lines all the way up there. So how can we fix that? We can actually try to use the cut tool. And we can also adjust the cutting plane to an angle we would like to have. Just a bit up there and, and a bit more turning in this direction, I think. Yes, this looks perfect. Now we can just say, I want to have object B and please perform a cut. Place the cut on the bottom and we perform that cut. And now we can easily print that thing without any problems with the layer orientation. But there's also that thing on top that's not really necessary. So I will just cut that off as well because I don't have any use for this decorative part. This time we also want to keep object B, but we don't want to place it on the cut. So we say keep orientation and perform the cut. And now we have a very clean design for printing that we can print however we want. You can see with the upper holder we have the same kind of problem. We could either print it with a lot of support material, but if you generate support material that would look like this. And why would you want to print so much support material when there's a better way around? Now why on earth would you want to do that? We can just take the model and perform another cut. But this time we also have to avoid that screw hole down there. But luckily we can just turn it a bit in this direction because there's a lot of material left in the front cup. But this time we need object A instead of B. And we perform the cut. And as you can see, we now have a clean cut. And now after slicing you can see we have a part that is easily printable without any supports. Safety first. So there's one thing I don't like. You see the plug? It has a rubber protector down here. It doesn't really fit inside that thing here. So maybe the guy that designed this could have another type of plug. Seems like I have to do some additional adjustments on my design. And by the way, let me know if this is the type of content you like to watch. So as you saw, the plug is too thick for the hole in the middle. So we have to make it a little bit bigger. The easiest way is to add a negative volume. We just add a cylinder and then we place it in the right orientation. We put it somewhere in the middle here and then we can rotate it a bit so that it fits the actual angle of the cup. We can make it a bit bigger but we have to change from world coordinates to part coordinates because this is the part that we want to manipulate. This looks good. Make it a bit longer. Just make it 25 millimeters in diameter then we can check if the angle is actually correct. Move it a bit down here and look if it is flush with the existing object. We need to rotate it a bit more. 
there's still a bit of rotation left that we have to do. So this looks about right. Let's see. Yeah, almost perfect. Good enough for me. Move it a bit back there so that it is as much centered as possible. We just eyeball it here. That's okay. And then when we now slice it, we have a part with a hole in the middle that was added because of that negative volume. And now we can print it. Now it looks much better. Well, that's another practical print done. If you want to see more, you can subscribe over here or watch another one over there. See you in the next one.